Have you ever wanted to run a marathon? Like 26.2 miles of straight running. Here's the thing, I'd like to say I ran a marathon and it'd be true. I don't actually wanna run a marathon. I started running recreationally a few years back and I can't tell you what mental illness catalyzed it. You could say running's in my blood, except that's not true. Actually, swimming's in my blood. So is being fatally wounded. Plus, I'm a terrible swimmer. But anyway, as I started getting into running, my aunt signed me up for a race. It was a 5K, one leg of a triple crown race in Louisville. Me being a perfectionist, I had to have all three participation medals, so I kept running. As my training got harder and I was hitting milestones in distance, I started fantasizing about running a half marathon in my head. But that would be where it ended. I'm not crazy. But then I reached 13.1 in my training. And though it was only a half marathon, somewhere deep down inside of me, I wanted to say I did the real thing. So my goal was to run the half marathon but train as if I were going to run the full. Then one day, run the full. There's something fascinating about the full marathon. People big and small, short and tall, red and blue, old and new compete in marathons. Something about an endurance challenge so difficult that unites us all. So I did what I set out to do, training for a half marathon, deep down knowing I want to do a full marathon. And it was amazing to start. Well, almost. I started feeling somewhat guilty in my training. Why? I couldn't help feeling selfish. There's nothing inherently wrong with fitness challenges, and as they say, you gotta help yourself before you help others. But that's only true in very rare circumstances. Sure, toxic people exist, but those people are often the very people who have this mindset. One day, as I was running up the side of one of the toughest hills I know, I had an epiphany. What would happen if I allowed my entire personality to become running? What if I invested the same amount of time and energy as I do into these intervals into helping other people? What would happen if I spent the same amount of time that I spend reading articles about running, reading my Bible instead? Isn't life so much longer than 26.2 miles? So I wanted more purpose to this marathon, but to tell you the truth, I didn't know where to start. Then one day out of the blue, I got a call from one of my close friends, Manny. We'll talk more on his perspective in next week's video, but he basically said, hey, you run, right? And want to run a marathon together? To which I said, yes. And then he told me he wanted to run it as fundraising for a cause he cared about. More on the fundraising as it develops, it's still in the works. But this gave me the push to keep going. I don't want to waste this opportunity. So that's where we are right now. That brings us up to the present time. I'm gonna be starting a video diary series on marathon training. I wanna use this first to help bring in donations once we get the green light on the cause, but also I wanna help inspire you to have more fun and to do things that scare you for maybe somebody that you love. Um, so that's where I am. I'd be so thrilled if you wanna stick around for the whole journey. Thank you and God bless. Okay, so I'm feeling like crap this morning, but I need to go to the gym. <laughs> I want to go back to that. This is day one of documenting everything that I do to try and train for a marathon. And I'm kind of excited because I get to like, you know, show my progress and everything. Um, if I make progress, that involves actually training. But let's see, what did I eat? I had overnight oats that I made. They were, oh, they were good. They had, uh, wow. I had caffeine. Can you tell? I, I put in some coconut yogurt and I need my shoes. I need my shoes. Coconut yogurt and then oats. Almond milk, vanilla extract. You cannot go wrong with that. And then so it's vanilla extract, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt, and a protein powder because, you know, if you're going to the gym, you can't have enough of that. And strawberries, blueberries, sugar-free whipped cream. Whipped cream! That's pretty much all there was to it. And they sat overnight and they were delicious. Um, but I'm now gonna get my shoes. There they are. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you these black hokas that I got at Swag's. Oh my gosh, I'm spilling my water today. <laughs> My feet look so stupid right now. It's got my ankles. <laughs> this is great. I need to refill this water bottle. See, this is the struggle. I don't know how I'm going to do anything documenting Jack if I can't even remember the most basic things. I'm not this short. I know I'm short, but <laughs> I'm not that short.
is going on? Uh, there's a just made eye contact when the total train is so awkward. <laughs> it's time. You know, I don't understand why people are so like hard on Planet Fitness. I think it's a great gym. It's cheap and they have all the equipment and like, I mean, people go off online about it. Like if you see any gym videos with Planet Fitness, it'd be like, it's such a trash gym. And it's like, it's cheap and they have all the equipment. It's nicer than some of the ones that I've been to. At least the one that I go to is, um, I'm sure there's like bad places anywhere though and any sort of franchise. I mean, there's an ugly side So I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I really don't want to go. <laughs> I need to pump myself up That's not gonna do it. No, no, mm -mm. no Hey guys, just finished my workout. Looking a little rough, got the sweat stains going. That's how you know you pushed yourself. I just did some hip thrust and some mobility work and then I hopped on the bike to cool down for a little bit, which I will show next. I had a really awkward interaction with this dude when I walked in. I was going for the spray bottle to spray down one of those mats and he was trying to get there first, but I didn't see him, so I grabbed it and then he was just like, oh, oh. And I was holding the spray bottle and I just like walked away and sprayed it and then I came back. He rolled out some paper towels and I was like, are we going to exchange? Like, why why did he get the paper towels? Because he was waiting for the spray bottle. So he acted like he was going to give me the paper towels as I was going to give him the spray bottle. But at the last second, he just grabbed the spray bottle and I like had my hand on the paper towels and it made it obvious that he had no intention of giving those to me. And... I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought we were going to trade. And he just like looked at me like, you are a moron. <laughs> and I was like. Also, were you focusing the whole time on this streak I had going for me? Okay, so I'm making some breakfast. I'm making a breakfast sandwich. And Manny doesn't want to be on camera, but he's here. No, I'm not. And we're talking about making a schedule for the mini marathon and then the marathon, which is in November. And, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Do I look okay? Yeah, you look handsome. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I finished making my breakfast sandwich. I thought I would make a healthier version of, like, the Jimmy Dean sausage egg biscuit. And so I just put the egg in, like, a little ramekin, which is over here. And uh, mix some like sausage, like chopped up some sausage and put it in there and then put some like reduced fat cheese and some keto bread because I'm thinking this is going to be healthy. And it looks like a nightmare. Dad, what, what do you think it looks like? It looks so bad. It almost looks like mac and cheese. Yeah, it does look like mac and mac cheese. Mac and cheese on a sandwich. Yeah. Like it's a hamburger mac and cheese. A oh. hamburger mac. It looks awful. It looks so it bad. It could taste good though. It could taste. Do you want to try it? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to eat. <laughs> Or you don't, I don't want to have take a, a bite? Issue. Nope, I'm good. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna try it. Um, wait, hold on. I need to like flip the. That's what it looks like. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just not good. I convinced him. Alright, here we go. not bad the sausage needs to be broken up a whole lot more it's like you're buying just i feel like i'm eating mostly sausage okay but it's not bad okay okay that's fair thank you <laughs> all right it's time this is the gym fit that i settled with um you know if you think i put a lot of time and effort into deciding this uh you would be totally right because i don't know how to dress for the gym in fact i only ever wear black, pretty much. So, I don't really know, but I have to drop my dad off because he's going to the lake with some of his friends. And, um, I'm feeling so bloated today. I feel like I'm just retaining every single glass of water that I 
drip drop of water that I ingested yesterday and the day before. So I did what I normally do, which is not an extravagant de bloat routine. I did not do that at all. <laughs> I don't have one. If you have one, let me know. Just drink some water and then um, just kind of just went, well, this is what I'm dealing with today. So <laughs> it is what it is. IVS is so fun. Well, it took like five years, but I finally got here. It's one in the afternoon and I hate working out this late. I did not want to go. I just don't have any motivation. Frankly, I just don't feel great today. I didn't feel great yesterday either. I just haven't been sleeping. Anyway, I had to run some errands, so that's why I'm here this late. But I think I'm just going to hop on the stair climber because I'm still really sore from yesterday. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes and just wish me luck. I did it and I feel like I got hit by a truck you can be proud of me I did like 45 minutes on the stair climber um, I've done that workout multiple times before I have never struggled through it like I did today I think it's just like leg day yesterday just wore me out I still I ran 13 on uh, Monday and I still haven't recovered from that fully all the way so I think I just need to recover and get some sleep I haven't been sleeping if you have any suggestions on what to do to sleep uh, they'd be much appreciated um, I have a blue light filter on my phone and I take melatonin and I avoid screens after a certain time um, and yeah I just I haven't recovered all the way and so I think that's why it was so hard for me um, but anyway I'm gonna go take the blanket off my horse because it's Kentucky and it was zero degrees the other day and now it's 60 degrees so yeah, that'll be fun. And then I'm gonna stop by the grocery and pick up some drugs. Hi, baby. Oh, look at him. Oh, goodness. Look at him. Oh, he's gonna go away. No, don't leave me. I'm about to share with you some extremely dangerous knowledge. So get out a pen and paper and start writing down this recipe um, and then burn it because if anybody finds it, um, NASA's gonna come after you anyway. This is a recipe for a vanilla raspberry no-bake protein thumbprint cookie it has no sugar in it it is so delicious the key is to blend up walnuts until you get walnut butter because it has this lovely margarine texture and then make sure you change your blenders because the goal of cooking is always to use as many dishes as possible then the second part of this delicious recipe is vanilla garden of life organic protein powder i'm not sponsored by this protein powder um i wish i was because it's hella expensive but um it tastes like a sugar cookie it's so delicious um and then of course sugar-free raspberry preserves and then you want to chill these cookies for two to three hours and then you want to lock yourself in a basement make sure you chain yourself to the wall because you're going to develop a sudden interest in scalping people and that's illegal that's my recipe for cookies they're really good this is my mom she's going to tell me what she thinks texture is amazing and the little pop of just tartness with that raspberry Reagan this is awesome and there's no sugar mm -mm. this could be dangerous oh my gosh yeah awesome That's amazing I want to marry it making some more oatmeal this morning I am not planning on running today I've was planning on doing it but uh, doing some intervals but my knees kind of bothering me so I think I'm gonna take today off um, maybe run tomorrow we'll see right now I've just got some granny smith apples boiling and some water with some cinnamon I'm just gonna be adding some oats I just want to give a little shout out to my mom. Thank you, mom, for always stopping to smell the roses. Did you happen to smell any of these roses? No, I didn't. Do they smell good? Well, these are really smell amazing. Hugo is cracking me up. He's been staring at the fireplace for like five minutes. I don't know if he sees something in there. If there's like a bug or he can't figure out why the cold air is blowing in. But he's been staring at it for like a long time. Good morning. We are not training this day. I have an eight hour shift at my job. Oh, it's hot. Just came out of the microwave. Um, so I'm just going to be making some oats and um, 
I've, I've had too many artificial sweeteners lately, so I think I'm just gonna skip out on the protein powder. Um, maybe put a few nuts and maybe some like powdered peanut butter, but uh, the idea of having more like fake sweet things just like it's kind of grossing me out also my knee is not okay it is really bothering me that's what it should probably should have led with that but um yeah that's the reason we're not training is because my knee is messed up i don't know what happened i think going too hard too long and this is the breakfast we're looking at right now it you know i'm not really that hungry either i might just eat half of this we'll see I just don't want to get hungry later. Also, I thought it might be funny to mention that this is the lid of the peanut butter powder that I've been using. Um, I couldn't get the <laughs> I couldn't get the lid off, and so I took a knife because my dad was away on a, on a trip, and I didn't have anybody to help me open it. So I took a knife and just cut right through the middle. I made like a like a tissue box kind of opening, and. <laughs> And when he got back, he of course had no trouble getting it off at all, and so I just duct taped it back together. <laughs> Hello, how are- oh, I just hit my knee! <laughs> how is everybody? Um, I have taken, not even kidding, like seven versions of the same video that I'm doing right now. Um, cause I'm still not comfortable on camera and <laughs> I gotta get used to like my weird insecurities and also my hair. What happened to it today? I look like, I mean, what is this? So you're just gonna have to just, you're just gonna have to just be at peace with it because I've made my peace. So now it's your turn. Anyway, we're gonna be calling Manny, um, because I need to figure out when we're running next and this should be a fun conversation. I have to FaceTime him, so um, that's even more I'm great. Another another mirror of myself that I'm talking to, and mad respect to people who are just comfortable with themselves. But <laughs> hey, hey, Reagan. Hold on, you're really quiet. How are you? So I have a question. What's up? Are we running tomorrow? <coughs> I don't know if you're good. Are we running tomorrow? No, we are. What time? Probably later. Probably later? What about, what about 11? Ten? Nine? How far are we running? Fifty minutes. Earlier. Eight? What? Eight? Sure. Okay, see you at eight. Here's the thing. I am not running today. And I know this is like the third day in a row where I'm like, I'm not running. Here's the thing, my knee feels better and I do not want to make it worse. And old me would have said, screw this, I'm going on a run and you can't stop me. And then, you know what would happen? I would cripple myself. I would not be able to run for like forever. And I'm kind of liking how I'm feeling and I don't want to make it worse. So I might hop on the bike a little bit and then Manny and I are gonna try and run tomorrow. Um, feeling insecure today. I. I don't know why. I felt so hot yesterday. I felt so sexy. And do you know how I feel today? Do you know? I feel just like a solid two out of 10. Good morning again. It's another day, beautiful day in paradise. I just woke up and I wanna go back because Manny's coming over and I don't, I don't think this is the, I don't think this is the thing I'm going to run in. Okay, 
from choosing between outfits. And I think we're gonna go with these green leggings, double sports bra, ladies, and a uh, tank top. Final look, and of course a little yellow scrunchie because you can't go wrong with that. We got this jacket, which I got for Christmas, and then of course my shadow that's coming with me. Okay, I'm here with Grumpy this morning. <laughs> he was not allowed to run. <laughs> um, so we gotta we gotta share what happened. Why did you want to run a marathon? Oh my gosh, Reagan, we do not have time for that. Should okay, no, tell. Let's do this tomorrow. Okay. All right. I'll be on time <laughs> Pouty wants to go. Okay. <laughs> we have run just about half a mile. The goal is 50 minutes of slow pace, and Manny and I are like oil and water this morning. <laughs> He's super introverted, and I'm super extroverted at this present time, and so everything I'm doing is annoying him. <laughs> anyway, Not everything. Not everything. I'm, I'm so proud of him for getting up early and showing up for the grind, and he hates me right now. <laughs> you just said I hate you. It's a lot. <laughs> hey, it's true, but it's not. Yeah. It's true. It's okay though. When we cross the finish line of the marathon, he's still gonna hate me, but maybe not as much. So, 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 so. But he's gonna be late. So he's flooring it. He's gonna be gassed. Man, I'm sorry I called you pouty and grumpy. That wasn't very Christ-like of me. You were pouty and grumpy though. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, I'm back on the road. After just running with, oh that was hot. After just running with, what was I saying? Shoot. Okay, uh, yeah, so Manny and I ran. <laughs> the strawberry filter. Excuse me for being out of breath. This is so fun. Um, anyway, I have a, I have a long run. So I'm supposed to go for like two and a half to two hours and 45 minutes today. So, supposed to run it slow. Anyway. I was a lot of breath because I was just sprinting with my with my brother. Just finished my uh, second lap. Stopped by the house, grabbed a little snack, and changed my undershirt because it was not working. And I will not lie, I do not want to do this last lap. Everything hurts. I just want to be done. Just, just ran past. Just ran past. Uh, like a truck with the darkest tinted windows. So if you find, this is the last video you find of me. Um, it was it was a car, I was abducted. Hello, I'm back, I did it. This finished running 15 miles the fastest that I've ever run 15 miles. And that's why I look like this. <laughs> I will put in my stats. Um, I need to stretch my hip flexor is not feeling great. Um, sometimes it bothers me after a long run, so I might get in the bath and stretch and, um, and I'm also really hungry, but <clears throat> I didn't listen to any music the first lap. I didn't listen to any music the second lap. The third lap, I listened to like the heaviest dubstep, um, and it, it got me through. If you're looking for a song to run to right now, look up. Good Space by Skrillex. That song is fire. It is so good. Yeah, we're gonna just do a little bit of that and a little that. So here is, here's what's going on, you guys. So we've made full circle. It is now uh, January 30th, um, and I am so sore from my run yesterday. So what's gonna happen is I think I'm gonna just go to the gym with some of my friends. We're just gonna do, um, well, I'm gonna hop on the stationary bike for just a little bit because I'm still like not feeling 100% from yesterday. This is today's gym fit. I just have this red shirt and then these shorts, which are kind of flowy. And then, um, I'm so proud of this, by the way. Like, that is, that's not normal for me. So, good for me, right, gang? Can pat yourself on the back. Um, but before I head out, I want to do, uh, two things. Um, the first is say three things that I'm thankful for, um, which is today i'm thankful for the choice that i have to go um exercise a lot of people don't have that choice and i'm thankful for the color blue it is such a beautiful color like thank goodness that the sky is blue because if it were any other color it would 
be way less pretty. And then, um, last but not least, I'm thankful for cinnamon rolls. I don't know why. I just, I, that's like the first thing that came into my mind. Um, and then the second thing I want to do is I want to say, um, thank you for stay, sticking around. If you've stayed this whole video, um, if you want to see the rest of this, consider subscribing. I know that's like, you know, a lot to ask, but, um, it helps me out. So thank you. Um, and love you and see you next week. Bye.